Hey everyone, this is Jai, your teacher for Computer Network. You know that the data link layer has many responsibilities, such as error detection, error correction, flow control, physical addressing, etc. And the framing is one of them. So now let's understand what is the meaning of framing. So as you can see in this figure, there is device A, B and C are connected via a single line. Okay. And suppose that device A wants to send data to device C. So when device A is sending any data, in the data link layer, frames will be generated. Okay. And uh, when that frame is passed to physical layer, it will be converted into bits. So for example, when this frame is converted into bits, there are total five bits. And that bits will travel from device A to device C. And device C will receive that bits and uh, it will convert that bits into frame. So the frame is delivered. Seems very straightforward, right? But now assume that uh, there are two devices which are sending frames at the same time. So the device A is sending frame and when this frame is passed to physical layer, it is converted into bits. So the converted bits are suppose 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And device B is also sending frames. So the frame is generated in data link layer. And when that frame is passed to physical layer, it will be converted into bits. So suppose that the bits for this frame is 0, 1, 1, 0. Notice that the number of bits for frame A is 5 and number of bits for uh, device B. Number of bits for device A is 5 and number of bits for device B is 6. And now together it becomes stream of bits. Now when this stream is received at the device C, device C will be confused because the all the device C is seeing a stream of bits and uh, device C uh, won't be able to decide what is the start of the frame and what is the end of the frame. So the device C will get confused. So what I'm trying to say is in the physical layer, there are actually stream of bits. So receiver will not understand that from where it has to start receiving and till what it has to receive. Okay, so receiver will get confused. So it is the responsibility of data link layer to provide something so that the receiver will know that this is the start of the frame and this is the end of the frame. And that thing is called framing. So these are the problem. The first problem was the detecting start of the frame. The second was detecting end of the frame. And station couldn't de uh, detect the frame. There are mainly two types of framing. The first is fixed size framing and the second is variable size framing. And the variable size framing is further divided into three types using counters, which is also known as character count. The second is character stuffing and the third is bit stuffing. Now let's discuss the fixed size framing. So in the fixed size framing, 
all the frames are of fixed size so suppose this is device a this is b and c and device a is generating frame in data link layer and when that frame is passed to physical layer it will convert it into bits and uh, the number of bits are now fixed so for example the device a is generated four bits and the device b will also generate four bits okay and uh, in this link these bits will be converted into streams because in the link there are stream of bits but now all the devices are working on the fixed size framing receiver knows that each frame is of four bits so it will start receiving the frame from from the first bit and it will receive till four bits and after four bit is received it will consider that four bits into one frame and after that it will continue receiving another four bits okay so receiver know, knows that every frame is of four bits so it will receive of four bits for, by four bits okay one by one but uh, what is the disadvantage of this method suppose if i want to send 16 bit of frame and if all are using fixed as framing so i have to divide that 16 bit of frame into four parts because all the devices are using frame size of four bits okay and reverse is also possible suppose i want to send frame of two bits but i won't be able to send that frame to send frame i have to combine two frames of two bits so that it will be converted into four bit frame so that is the disadvantage of the fixed size framing okay now the second type is a variable size framing there are three types in variable size framing the character count the byte stuffing and the bit stuffing let's see what is character count so suppose the device a wants to send any frame okay so in the character count method in the character count method the first character in the frame tells the size of the frame so suppose that the value in the first character of frame is 5 so it means that there are total 5 characters in the frame so when sender is sending any frame in each frame the first character of frame tells the size of the frame so in this example you can see that there are 5 characters in the frame and when this frame is received by the receiver from the first character receiver will understand that uh, this frame contains five character and it will receive five characters and those five characters will be considered in one frame okay so this method is known as character count let's see example so that you have clear idea so in this example there are total four frames which are being transmitted see the frame one the first character in the frame one is five it means that that frame contains five characters so when receiver detects the first character of frame receiver will know that it has to consider five characters in one frame so it will start receiving from first character and it will count one two three four and five and when five characters are received the receiver will consider these five characters as one frame okay after that it will again check the first character of next frame 
Now the first character in the next frame is 5. So from that receiver knows that there are total 5 characters in the next frame. So it will receive 5 characters one by one and it will keep all these 5 characters in one frame. After that again it will check the first character of the next frame. Now the first character of next frame is 8. So from that receiver knows that there are total 8 characters in that frame and it will receive 8 characters and after receiving 8 characters after receiving 8 characters it will again check the first character in next frame okay and uh, as you can see that the first character in the next frame is 8 so it will receive 8 characters so this is the character count method but uh, there is a problem the data link layer is provide the data link layer is providing reliability but the layer below the data link layer is not reliable i am talking about the physical layer the physical layer is very noisy and there is a possibility that whatever the frame is sent will get corrupted or it might get corrupted so see in this example suppose that the first character of the frame has value 5 so when the receiver sees the value of the first character it knows that there are 5 frames so receiver will receive 5 frames and after that it will again check the first character of frame but now there is a problem while we were sending the frame the value the first character of that frame was 5 the value of the first character of the frame was 5 but due to noise the value is now changed so actually it was 5 but now due to noise it becomes 7 but receiver doesn't know that the value is changed due to noise so receiver sees the first character of the next frame is 7 so receiver will start receiving uh, all seven characters and receiver will think that there are total seven characters in frame but actually that is not the case but receiver will keep receiving the seven character in the frame but actually there are there were no seven character in the frame okay now again receiver will check the next character now from the next character receiver will think that there are total one character in the next frame but actually there were total eight characters in the frame so you can understand that only one character is corrupted whole stream will get corrupted okay because only one value is changed all the size of the frame will be changed and all the frames will be corrupted after that frame so this is the biggest disadvantage of character count method now the next method is byte stuffing method this method will be covered in the next session so i'm ending this session now if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment session thank you